Yeah. Right, today I'm going to try and make a beef casserole. What I've got here is those of old bits of beef that I've been collecting for a few weeks and months. Every time I make something, I'd always trim a little bit off the end. Um, I don't know what they are. We've probably got sirloin, there's probably a bit of brisket, maybe. Oh, that's a piece of fillet, I know that one. Um, that's a little bit of top side. But I can't remember which one's which. So if you just put them all into a pot and cook them for a long, slow time, then hopefully they're going to taste nice. So, um, right, so I've got that. Let's have a look what's in the fridge. What have we got in the fridge? Oh, I can use up. We've got some tomatoes out of a tin that we've had left over. We've got a part of an onion. Got some more onions here as well. We can use those. Oh, I've got some. Got some leeks that I bought today. Oh, a few carrots. Um, and I've got some herbs in the garden. Ah, and also, ah, I've got loads of these actually. They're at the ends, parmesan, which I always keep. And if you put them into the pot, they have this lovely sort of umami taste. And they never go off. Some of these have been in there for, well, I would like to say years, but I won't say that. Probably have. Um, right, so I'm just going to go and get some herbs out of the garden, and I'll be right back. Right, what I've got here is a bowl. And I'm just grating loads and loads of, grinding loads and loads of pepper into there. Loads of this. And a nice bit of salt. Loads of that. And some flour. That'd be enough. Just give that a mix up. Just a bit more pepper, I think. Now what we need to do is get all these old bits of beef throw them in there, give them a good season up, so they can all go in there. Oh yeah, that was a bit of fillet. Should I use that? Yeah, well, yeah, why not? Could have had that in a sandwich. It's all coated in the seasoned flour, like so. Just leave that for a few minutes. That can all go in the bin. Oh, I'm just going to go and get a pan. Right, I've got an apron on now. Stop your shirt getting all damaged and all fatty. Right, so we've got all these cuts of beef. We've got fillet, sirloin, rib, topside, brisket, as I said. That's all been tossed in seasoned flour. We've got a hot pan and we're going to put some vegetable oil in there. Don't use olive oil or rapeseed oil because it'll just, it's a waste of time. It, it gets, the pan gets too hot and the oil just goes horrible and rancid. So a nice bit of that in there. And then we want to put these steaks in there and give them a nice frying off. Also, don't overcrowd the pan because you'll just take the heat right down and it'll just stew in there. It won't be very nice. All right, once they've fried off, I'll be back. I'm going to get a real nice bit of colour on there. That's all gnarly. And it just adds to that sort of caramelised taste of the casserole stew, whatever you want to call it. So just leave that in there for a minute and a half, two minutes either side. And uh, then I'll move on to the next bit. Okay. Right, here we are, about seven or eight minutes later. All those lovely bits of beef. They're all nice and gnarly, caramelised. So what we do, we take a, my trusty old lacrucia that my mum bought me. We put these bits of beef in there. Turn that gas right down for the moment. Now the bottom of that pan, Loads of lovely bits of crispiness, and so we don't want to throw that away yet. What we're going to do, we're going to take the onions and the rest of the veggies, and we're going to fry them in that oil. So, first thing we want to do some onions, just chop them up, they don't have to be anything special. We've got some red onions here. And I'll 
probably put a white onion in there as well. Let's get rid of that on the outside. What else have we got? Where's that white onion gone? Where are they gone? Where are they gone? Might be in the fridge. There you go. There we are. Got a white onion as well. So just take off the top, cut it in half. Take off that horrible bit there. And get my fingernails for this, which many of you know I haven't got. Juice that right down so it's all nicely golden and caramelized, and the carrots have all softened up. And that'll take on all that cooking fat from the beef and all the little bits of stock. What we did have left over was all of that seasoned flour. But we won't throw that away, we'll actually put that in there and it'll thicken it up nicely. So you have salt and peppers, a little bit of mustard powder in there. Delicious. Right, just let those sweat down. And then we'll come back in about 20 minutes time. What I did mean to say was you're obviously going to need some stock for this. So all these old bits and pieces that we've cut up, just put them into a pan, like so. I don't want to throw them away. It's just a waste otherwise. Especially when there's not a lot on the shelves at the moment. And here I've got one of these Nor beef stock pots. They're very, very good. So you're going to make a very thin stock up yourself. So just dissolve that in there. There's about a litre, a litre of stock there. And we'll put that on top of those veggies. All those old trimmings. Oops. Just put a little tiny bit of rosemary in there. And we'll just put that on the hob, just to simmer away for 15, 20 minutes, just to get all that stuff out of there. So I found some old tomatoes kicking around in the back of the fridge. I found some old, uh, it was half a tin of plum tomatoes, so they can go in. I found a couple of whole, 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 holes of garlic. They can just go straight in like that, skins and all. And here we have the old veggies. We have our veggies are all nicely caramelised up. And there's our gravy just bubbling away of all the old trimmings of the vegetables. Nothing's thrown away. So, what we can do, these can go, oh, what is that? That's hot enough that I'm going to burn myself. So these can all go in there. Just like that. Lovely jumping. So we get all those bits out the bottom now. 
throw anything away. Just move that all about. Oh, look at that. Oh, God, that smells delicious. Put our garlic in. Put our tomatoes in. Our tomatoes in. Give it a little stir around. Mine. Mm, no, that'll be okay. And then we've got our stock at the back here. Now I've got a sieve over here. A sieve over there. Just pour that in on top. seasoned flour as well and that will thicken it up as we cook along for the next few hours just stir that in um, I might put a little bit more a little bit more water in there so we're Go. The lid goes on, and that can go in the oven for about one gas mark 140, 150 for about three hours. So you can just put it in there, leave it, and uh, we will come back and see what it looks like later, shall we? We've been in the oven now for three, four, five, six, three and a half hours. Let's just turn that off. Right, so that's at three and a, God, that's heavy. Three and a half hours in the oven. Oh God, it smells nice. Whoa. So what we're going to do, we're going to take these great big bits of beef out. And what you could do, you could use these to make a steak pie. If you were just to put those just let, let them in here, let it cool right down until it's totally cool and then put some flaky pastry or puff pastry over the top of it, get a little bit of gravy in it, oh, just take out the old bokeh garlic, get all this stuff off of here. So we've got these lovely great big bits of steak in there, we can then flake them up, any more in there? Oh yeah there's another one. Whoa. Now you can either, up there is that bit of Parmesan cheese, so it hasn't melted, it's going to add a lovely flavour to it, so we'll take that out, put it on the side, that can be thrown away now. So what we're left with is this rich thick gravy, and I am going to blitz that, and that can be poured all over the top of that. You've got this lovely gravy to go with all the nice meat. So once I've blitzed this, I'll show you what the gravy looks like. I'll see you in a minute. Got your stick thing going. Sauce is all zuzzed up. I'm just pushing it through a strainer, just in case we get nice little bits in there, like bits of woody stem or anything that's not quite nice to eat. So it's nice and silky smooth the sauce after this. Oh God, it smells nice. <laughs> it smells really nice. This is like proper gravy. What you don't eat, now you can just put in a thermos flask or some type of container to put in the fridge. And that'll keep for a good week, week and a half in the fridge. You can have it for Sunday roast. Could even make a soup. I'll give you art burn. <laughs> right, just finish this and I'll be right back. So that's the gravy all made. That's been sieved. That's really nice and thick. Oh god. That smells. Oh. So if we just take a piece of this beef that was in there for three and a half hours with a spoon and then we could just cut it up that's how soft and tender it is I don't know if that's a piece of fillet 
yeah, it's all as tender as one another. That's a little bit, I reckon that's a piece of brisket. It's got a little bit more resistance to it. But you can either leave that in great big steaks, I'd say puff pastry, or you can just flake it all up like this and mix it back through the gravy. A bit of mashed potatoes and some greens. Absolutely delicious. And that, with all the bits I've been collecting over the past few weeks, that's going to last you for days, isn't it, if you want? Anyway, so just to recap, we had all the old meat that was left over, we had all the old vegetables, we fried them all off, the vegetables and the meat, and we put in just a little tiny stock cube, some water, you could have put a bit of beer in there, a bit of red wine, basically anything you got in the fridge, just stick it all in there. It doesn't take a lot of effort, uses up all the old stuff in the back, and you end up with this really, oh God, I can just smell this, it really is smelling good. And what I'll do, I'll, um, I'll put a little couple of pictures up or a video, just a bit all dished up with everything else we've had. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And there we have crumbs, beef in gravy, just mashed potato, and a little bit of ter purple sprouting There's about 50 grams uh, No, tender stem sprouting broccoli. Very easy, very simple. What I'm going to do is bon appetit, everybody.